Hello fellow crafters and welcome back in this messy episode of Max DM Crafting. In this episode we will create a modular sewer gate. This is the piece we are talking about, it's uh, totally modular and uh, yeah, now it's on a sewer tile so I can show you. Basically we have uh, a lever then we have uh, a couple of stairs this one has also a grid for the passage of yeah, sewer water and uh, on this one we have just some skulls then you have the main uh, actually gate with a removable gate actually and uh, so you can use this piece as a bridge normal bridge or actually a gate with many many combination let's create a sewer gate first of all we need a nice piece of foam and uh, cookies why? well, why not? My foam is uh, roughly one inch thick. The thickness will correspond to the width of the bridge. The first cut must be done at uh, a right angle, so we will be precise with our proxim. I begin to cut three pieces of foam. All of them will be as high as my wall segments, or about two inches. All three pieces will be one inch thick. One will be four inches long, it's the bridge, while the other two, which I will need uh, for the stairs, will be two inches long. Without losing too much time on my calculation, in the description below you will find a file with the templates that you will see me create now. Print them and cut them out, then glue them on a card and you will be okay in a hurry. Attach the template to the stairs with a couple of pins and go to the proxim, where we can easily get a quick and precise cut. We repeat the same operation for both the stairways. Now we mark a horizontal line of about 5 mm which will serve as flooring for our bridge. To create the arch hole, use the arch template found in the link below. You will have to place the template exactly in the middle of the bridge piece. Once the foam template has been fixed, with the proxon it will be easy to cut out the arch for the gate. At this point I also cut the pavement. In this way I could divide the underlying part into three slices. Two facades, front and back, and a central one, on which we will use the gate template. Once the arch was removed from the central slice that I marked with the letter A, I assembled all the pieces, including the upper floor. Since I used PVA glue, drying times have lengthened. Not bad, 
because in project uh, like this one with many pieces we can uh, build something else while the piece is drying. This is the case of the gate. I used the, the template as a reference and uh, with the coffee stirrers and a square toothpicks I built the gate as you can see here. One of the most complicated parts is folding a cardboard to create the upper arch. In this way, we simulate a metal reinforcement around the whole gate. Please note that I have deliberately left the bars at different heights to give the piece a more battered look. Once dry, I cut the cardboard and I used my modeling drill to blast the protruding side parts. I then inserted the cards on the sides. Once dry, I completed the bridge piece with the brickwork. I suggest you look at my tutorial number 3 for my technique of drawing fantasy bricks. At the end of the work I added stone textures with the aluminum foil technique. At this point I wanted to add some weight, but above all a bit of height on my bridge. You will understand why later. I cut two pieces of very thin foam with which I covered two washers using filler to cover well any empty space. With the same thin piece of foam I cut several small pieces which I used as a coating for the steps. Having added the same thickness under the bridge I had no problems of different heights. Details, always details. I added a small drain for the water with a modeling net and I put everything in evidence with the brickwork.
after having gone over the pieces with the aluminum foil, I was able to add the steps. For the lever, you can follow the DMG tutorial, surely you will find it inspiring. The concept is very simple, matchsticks, popsicle sticks and cardboard. Voila! Details. On each side of the gate I added uh, some uh, metal rings and uh, some citadel skulls here and there for a more appealing look. Before painting, I covered every part with my mix of Mod Podge, black acrylic paint and water. I suggest you to check out my number one tutorial for quantities of this mixture. First of all, I had fun with the metal parts. Here I just used a gun metal. Then I colored everything following my advanced technique of painting for walls. After a dark grey, I added the spots here and there with yellow, green and red. With a semi-dry brush I made a passage on all the pieces with light grey. I then performed a dry brush with warm grey to finish on the higher parts with uh, off-white. Ok guys, this is it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Remember to support this channel through Patreon or uh, Paypal and uh, yes, I think I see you all on the next episode. Till next time, happy crafting!